Hi and welcome. My name is Morten Albeck. I'm a Danish photographer. I teach at photo workshops around the world and I'm a Danish awarded photojournalist. Today I would like to address a question about the use of UV filters on a digital camera. And what is a UV filter and why do we need it or do we actually need it? Just before we start, be sure to sign up for the newsletter, be sure to follow the website. I have a blog where there are new stories about photography, both about cameras, but also about the approach to street photography or portraits or travel photography. There's a big gallery as well, so you can see my work there. So just jump into the website and see what happens there and subscribe below so you get a notification each time I post a new video here. And today it will be about removing ultraviolet light rays if it is necessary or not on a modern digital camera. We'll talk about that in this episode. So welcome. The UV filter is a piece of glass that filters the ultraviolet light rays coming from the sun, filtered through or maybe not filtered through clouds the UV filter filters that ultraviolet colors that you, when you use a film camera and not a digital camera, you will see a kind of a blue cast in parts of the picture and that will look ugly and it will happen especially if you are nearby the sea or up in the mountains, but it can also occasionally happen in other circumstances depending on the light rays coming in through the clouds or reflected from water. The UV filter filters that away from your film and it also removes a little bit of haze that can happen. And haze is simply moisture in the air and that haze will be reduced by the UV filter. Does it make sense to put that up on a digital camera? Yes and no. First of all, let's take the nose because a digital camera, most of them, the sensor, the modern cameras, will not be affected by the ultraviolet rays of light that comes through into the lens and into the sensor because there is a white balance automatic or set manually white balance in the camera and it will not be affected by that in most cases. Maybe some older sensors like on the M9, you will see a little bit of that the color cast from the ultraviolet light rays, but it is not a very big impact. But if it happens, you can add that UV filter on top of your lens if you find it valuable. For film photographers, it is absolutely essential to use that filter if you're up in the mountains or nearby the sea. But walking around the streets in a city or being at the countryside where there's no sea around, most of the time you will not be affected by the light rays from the ultraviolet rays of light passing through the atmosphere and down to your lens and into your camera. So why did I have a filter on my camera when I'm just saying it's not necessary with a digital camera? I personally prefer to use it on my lens because I have what I find is an expensive lens and I want to take care of it and therefore I put that in front of the glass. What happens when I put that in front of the glass is that I protect my camera. So let's attach it. If there's nothing to protect the outer part of the lens here and scratches, dust, water drops, whatever comes through the air, it can be a small piece of gravel, uh, blown by the wind will or can destroy the front of the lens. And if you walk around in nature or in the city, there is a risk that something hits that front piece of glass and I would like to protect that. Therefore, I attach the UV filter here. I could attach a clear glass filter as well, but I prefer just to have that because it removes that haze as well and make some pictures 
if there's that haze in the air, the moisture in the air, a little bit sharper, a little bit more clear. So that's my preference because it's much easier if I should be unlucky and hit something with my lens when I, when I have the camera over my shoulder and I walk around taking street photography and it swings a little, there could be somebody passing by. They might accidentally hit the front glass of the lens or my camera would swing into something, although I take great care, but being around people or in a store or wherever you go with your camera, there is a chance that it will be hit by something and it is absolutely way more cheap to remove that UV filter and buy a new one and replace that instead of having to send in this beautiful lens for repair, which will be first of all much more expensive and secondly a waste of time of having that lens for a repair. So therefore I attach the UV filter to be sure that doesn't happen. So that's the pros but what are the arguments for not having this on? The arguments for not having this on is that it is an extra layer of glass. So it will do something to your picture. It will remove the haze, it will remove the ultraviolet light, but it will also be that extra piece of glass where on a day like this with sunshine, if I point my camera up to shoot something against the light, there's an extra piece of glass here that will add a little flare or can add some flare to the picture. Maybe unwanted or maybe an effect, but it will do that. So that's something you have to consider when you're using an extra filter on your camera. It's an extra piece of glass where light has to pass through and it needs to be a really good quality of glass. If you just buy a cheap clear glass or also violet filter for a camera and you have a really good lens and you put that glass in front of this, it's like shooting through a uh, bottle or a window, it will not get better than what it points at and when it have to shoot through a, sorry my language, shitty piece of glass, you turn in a really good lens to something that is not that great. So if you want to put that extra filter on top of your lens, do yourself that favor that you choose something that is worth it use that little bit of extra money for a good quality glass because else you simply just make your beautiful lens and a good quality lens, turning that into a cheap lens for a little money, that's not worth it. So if you want to put that glass on, I know some people prefer not to have the UV filter on and in periods I also remove it, but then when my mood is for us and I want to take care of my camera, I put it back on again. And if you want to see how it works, make some test shots up against the light, see how it works, if you need it or not. But you just have the risk that you can ruin the front piece of the glass on your camera and it's much cheaper to ruin a UV filter that you relatively cheap can exchange with something, extra, something new. And of course, if you use just a little money, on that UV filter so you get a good quality, it will be far from the investment of just shipping your lens for repair. So that's the advantages of using the UV filter and the disadvantages can be that you get that lens flare and that extra layer of glass in front of your good quality lens. So that's worth thinking about. But else, use the UV filter if you feel for it. If you don't, maybe add a clear filtered glass or take very much care when you move around with your camera so you don't ruin the front glass on the original lens. Usually, most of the time, I add that UV filter so I can protect my camera because I walk a lot on the streets, prefer that kind of shooting, and then I have to take care of not breaking anything on my camera. And on my workshops, we look at that and different lenses as well. And just note, I have just dumped the prices of my workshops because we are going into the summer period so I'm in a good spirit and a good mood. So you can get the workshops a little cheaper than normal. So go in and sign up and I will be glad to see you around on one of my workshops. So please sign up, secure your spot 
and see you out there if you're interested. But else, take care of your camera, especially take care of your lens. And the final tip before we end is if you have a closing, and it can be any kind of uh, fabric for glasses or something like that. When you have this, don't put it in your pocket, in your jacket or anything else. Put it in a little plastic bag because if I put it in my pocket here or in the pocket of my trousers, small fibers from the fabric that was my trousers was made of or my shirt or my jacket will sit in here and when I then begin to rub the lens and begin to clean it, those small fabrics that are harder than this specially made piece is, then I risk to scratch the lens, I risk to scratch the filter in front of here. So take very much care of not having this directly in your pocket but put it in a little plastic pack, bag so it is protected from taking dirt up from anywhere else. So that's what I do. I have it in a little plastic bag and then in my jacket or in my bag here. So I'm sure I take good care of my lens. Thank you for watching.